Again, drop in your spacer, push the ball end in, make sure it lines up to the third notch, just to make sure everything's even and going good. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, put in our screw. It's always good to have the, the right tool for the job. Um, with this, a, a ball end is uh, a real savior for this job. It allows me to uh, get the screw in much quicker than trying to use an L-shaped Allen wrench or by trying to use a long straight one, a lot of times you can, can hurt and rip off the screws or uh, damage the uh, screw ends. So we're going to use the tool here, get everything straight, go ahead and retighten it, and again make sure it's, everything's lined up nice and straight. And we're all set to go. Next, we're going to insert the upper A arms onto the bulkhead. It's going to move our tray out of the way. Um, just like we did in the last tutorial, what we're going to do is go ahead and put our C clips on to the hinge pins. Um, again, make sure that you are getting the rounded side towards the inside. I have to find my little pliers here. Rounded side of the, uh, the clip towards the inside, so when it rubs it doesn't come off. I'm going to go ahead and insert that, spin it around, make sure that it's all on there proper. And we're going to do the same for the second hinge pin clamp it on just like so, spin it, make sure that it's working properly. Okay, at this point we're going to put them onto our bulkhead. If you take a second you're going to want to make sure that the A-arm that you use, that the ball end is canted upwards. Um, if it's canted down, that's upside down, you want to put it on so it's canted up. And you can slide this right up here and you can see that it is very loose. Um, that's okay at this point um, because we are going to be putting some spacers in there. We're going to start from the front and put the hinge pin through and go ahead and run it all the way through and make sure it comes out the back portion of the A-arm. Get to a little uh, closer up picture there. Going to slide it all the way through and make sure it comes out the back. And there is uh, play in here right now, which is just fine. That's the way it's supposed to be. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Put on the second A arm. Again, we're going to make sure that it cants upward. That is the right way to put it on. Canting downward is the wrong way. So again, it's going to go up. We're going to take the hinge pin and push it through from the front. Get it to go all the way through. At this point now, we're going to go ahead and put on the C-clips onto the back of the hinge pin. Um, just like I did in the last tutorial, I'm going to adjust and push this down so that I can just set that C-clip on the arm and clip it on without uh, having a little step there. It's not hard to do. We're going to go ahead and make those even. Um, again, sometimes the uh, smallest little things can be the most difficult. So I'm going to find the way that this sets on the bench without uh, tipping over. And I'm going to grab one of the C-clips. Make sure that the rounded side is going to the inside. And we're going to go ahead and put the clips on. You have to bear with me here. Um, if anybody's done this before with C-clips, you know it uh, is either very easy or can take you forever to get it on. I'm actually going to go ahead and shut off the camera and uh, get these C-clips on and we'll be right back. I don't want you guys laughing at me too much. Woohoo, that was a tough one. But they're finally on. 
So now uh, I want to make sure that the hinge pins aren't binding. Um, they don't go all the way down. They do uh, hang up a little bit on the uh, this portion of the uh, of the bulkhead, but they sh they should move freely under their own weight at this point. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to install. There are the four spacers, and the manual calls for one in the front and one on the back. Later on, as you're tuning your Bahoff, you decide you can put them both towards the front or both towards the back and that will adjust the uh, the caster settings. Right now we're going to set it pretty much at neutral. Um, what I have found, if you take a look, there's a little a little hole in here. You can use an Allen wrench or you can use a pair of needle nose pliers to hold on to it. It's about the easiest way that I have found. And what we're going to do is slide them over the hinge pin and basically they just clip right on. We're going to go ahead and push that to the back and we're going to go ahead and install the second one and it just clips right on just like so. As you can see that has uh, taken up the free space that is there right now. And again we're going to put one on the front and we're going to put one on the back. Let's go ahead and finish this up. It's relatively easy. Um, again, I'm going to push it all the way to the front to put the front one on. Pops right on. I'm going to push it all the way to the back so that we can get the back one on. And we're all set to go. One more time, you're going to want to check for binding. Um, might be a little bit stiff, but you're going to want to make sure that it pretty much falls under its own weight. Um, if it is binding too much or, or you're having to find yourself move it up and down, go ahead and take one of the spacers out and just shave just a tiny bit off the spacer. Um, or you can go ahead and remove the A-arm and shave just a tiny bit off the A-arms if they are binding. So that's pretty much going to cover it for uh, page 12, and uh, stay tuned, and we're going to go ahead and move on to page 13 in our next tutorial.